And welcome back. This is Kota. I'm going to the War Rights event. I uh, hope you all having a good Sunday so far. And we've got an HRE. So it is a uh, full server, 353 right now. It's Cook's countercharge. We've got 175 on the attacking CSA versus 168 on the defending Union. We start a little bit earlier today. We're actually going to start at 42 because there was a long delay. So start checking out these two teams here. Let's see here, starting out with the Union team. It looks like we've got Mr. Eddie here and the 2 USC. And we've got Parker leading the uh, 6 New York. LFL led by Colonel Famas. By the way, it looks like uh, I was able to watch at least the... Uh, no, we'll finish the intros and I'll start talking about that other stuff. Let's see, we got 13th Georgia led by Rolo. 5th Corps led by Snow Cactus. Canada is leading the 20th Georgia. A&V is led by Prussian. And 6AL is led by GameBot. Looks like HD is in here as well with a few folks. Uh, is there anybody else? We got 4th New Jersey in here as well. Where are they? Oh, we got 9th Corps back here as well. Looks like led by Dragon. I think that's everybody. Let's see here. Got a few folks on already. LFL, Mr. Forbin. Let's see, on the CSA team here, we've got JB here under Schumacher. We've got CQB here. Uh, who is pushing up my ass? Take. We've got Venom leading the SB along with UCB from the AGL. We've got HL led by TJ. Two core six LA led by Zio Panama. Mr. Fuji is leading Fort Georgia. What? And KB from the two cores led by O'Hara. We got TB under Major Knight. 11 Mississippi under Pistol Pete. More success by shooting with And Doug is leading the CQB. I think that's everybody. I think I saw SR in there as well. Follow me. About to go live. Let me see if I missed anybody. I, think I did. We got Victor's leading uh, Fourth New Jersey. I don't call him out. Fuck. God is great. Amen. Yeah, I think I got everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. And they are getting ready to go here on this Cook's counter charge. By the way, we uh, I hope everybody voted in France and in Britain. We got uh, elections last week for the British. We got a new government. Here's Stama, Labour. So again, I hope all you uh, you Englanders were able to uh, vote. And then uh, I was able to watch a little bit of the French election before this started. So it looks like, uh, at least from the initial reports I was watching, um, looks like the uh, new Popular Front came in first. So, um, again, I hope everybody voted in France. And, uh, you know, for the second round. And um, from what I gathered, it's going to be a... Uh, it has to be a coalition. Nobody got an outright majority, so... Uh, but we'll see if Macron's uh, party and then the new Popular Front, uh, if they form a coalition government. I doubt Le Pen would coalition with the uh, new Popular Front. We'll see. How it all breaks down, that is how those elections go, but we got some war rights here. And you are not, this is not yet a political blog on geopolitics and international relations, although that might become the future, who knows. Actually, you have education in that. Do not have a master's degree in war of rights. We are moving out here. It's like split evenly for the CSA. They are hitting both flanks right now. Now we're really hitting the center. Uh, there's no sprinting and no bayonets, which I think makes Cooks a little bit more of a uh, competitive event here. And I think really, um, I'm going to stick here on this right side here because I think this is, might be the uh, main position here. And a major attack here is developing here with both HL and 11 Mississippi leading the way. A and B doing a quick volley and falling back. Need a little bit more support up here, I think, or else this is, uh... See, that's the danger here. I don't think this will be enough, but we'll see. Don't shoot A and B. Please don't shoot 
Uh, watch out, Fuji. Set up bombs. Half right. Half right. 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 We're, gonna, we're gonna hit the flank. We're gonna hit the flank. Up and over. Up and over. See, up and over. HL got hit hard. With MF's 11th MS is uh, hurt now. Fuji is coming up to relieve the HL. And we still have TB in reserve here. Uh, quick check on the other side here. Not too much pressure yet here. Looks like CQB got hit hard back along with these other elements. So the right flank attack has not really developed in strength yet, although they got additional units moving in. Let's swing back over to this uh, Union right side here. CTB is putting a lot of pressure on this element right here. This uh, looks like much, well, it was HD and I think part of A and B. But they've got nailed back. And yep, here comes the charge, 11th MS. And they have broken the Union on the right here. Completely broken this force here. And this is a critical victory here for the CSA early on. Flag out. Ah, get ball. Get him, get him. And shoot him, shoot him. Now, get the there's Fuji Go sending him back to the abyss. Offense. One more, one more. And <laughs> as you can see now, a great attack by the CSA in force. Not a bad defense by the Union, but they could not cope with as many forces were there. And now the CSA has gained a pivotal piece of ground here. They still control this hill here, but now the problem is the CSA has a great flanking attack either to cut off from main or to outflank this forward position here. So the Union is in a lot of trouble here, and they've lost a lot of tickets already. This is not looking good here for this Union team. Yep, and you can see now you've got a forward defensive position here, and here comes that flanking force led by Knight and Pistol Pete here. This is a deadly combo and a good approach. They got nice concealment on the way up here, and we'll see if they can take the hill and capture this next key position here. Now forward. Oh, retreat, retreat, retreat. Here they come. Push forward. Push forward. Take the cannon. Take the cannon, boys. And the cannon has fallen. Right of 11. TB in the line. In the line. Fire in the backs, boys. Fire in the backs. Fire in the backs. Fire in the backs, boys. Fire in the backs, Tennessee. And the Union has had been forced to withdraw from the hill. Come on, get that line right. As they are peppered in their attempt to retreat. Another major victory here, won by taking that right side here. Now you've seen, after the fall of that initial position, kind of positional warfare here, this position was no longer tenable. And now the Union has been forced back even further here. And they are in a lot of trouble now. Basically forced all the way back to this position, all the way back here. And it is not looking good. We'll see if the Union can figure a way to recover. Continue firing. But stay low if possible. Let's see, looks like uh, CSA is going to continue and they're going to attack through the hay bales. This is a, a common tactic, but it's common because it works pretty dang well. And fight it out over here and kind of squeeze the Union from this flank off of that point. Now, meanwhile, though, the Union is going to attempt to retake this right side. I like the aggressiveness here. Blah, blah, blah. The aggressiveness here of trying to uh, retake this forward position here and regain some ground. I think this is uh, very important here for the Union to do. 
and not just get discouraged. You might lose more tickets, but if you don't retake some of this ground, it's just a slower death. So you might as well risk it all and try to push them off here. Now with the A and B there, I would keep rotating units forward here. Like these units here, like you don't need to, you really don't need to maintain this. These guys can rotate to the right. And in fact, that looks like here comes Snow Cactus. I think he is starting to realize that and he's moving up. But he's got to do so in time. It might have been too delayed. He's not set up here to aid against this renewed CSA attack. The same thing, these guys here, Rolo's got to move his men up and try to blunt the CSA attack. These guys should have been meeting this attack, honestly, up here and shoot and shut them down this angle. Instead, they're going to have to fight from a much more disadvantageous position. So, too delayed there for the Union in getting set and pushing up. They had an opportunity, but they got too obsessed with their uh, maintaining their positions, and now the CSA is going to make them pay for it. In the meantime, you see the CSA is moving in on, on that flank over on that side. Kind of zoom out so you can see now CSA has kind of created a very wide arc around the Union. Uh, my recommendation is, again, find a flank that's weak and hit it and just start rolling it up. It's kind of counterintuitive, but that's what you need to do. Like, you have a decent amount of... Well, you got a few guys there, you got a few guys here. A CQB be tough to beat, but um, I'd try them at least. What's going on? And now there's too many men on this side to really make this tenable anymore. Move up, move up, move up! That's a double quick, no sprinting. And you can see with all this pressure, they have once more pushed back the Union from that advanced position here. Again, you've got three units over here, multiple units. You might be able to crash in and take this without too much difficulty. But you need to rotate. You need to be agile. The Union's being way too uh, passive, in my opinion. Now, the CSA has capped. I'm not quite sure why they capped that early with them almost at engaged. I would have waited at least till you got them on gauge before capping, but say la vie. Kind of keeping up the French theme for this uh, for this stream here a bit. the flag. Six PA Kev. That's a name I've not seen in a long time. Now for the Union, the key right now is to um, no longer do the flank thing. What you need to do is retake this point as soon as possible to regain as much uh, manpower as possible. You get your tickets back. The longer the fight goes in, the less tickets you're going to get back. And here you got good pressure on the CSA here by these units, on the Union by these units. The enemy is going to be to the northeast as they're spawned. We're not independent. We're not independent, boys. New wires, push up! Quickly! We're not sprinting, boys! Stay ready! We're not firing yet. Alright, here we go. Here comes the forward attack here. Looks like against CQB. There's another company up forward of us! Drop them like the last one! Boys, we are confident and scary. Boys, there's oh, a company man. northeast! Oh. Independent fire northeast! Northeast, guys! <laughs> Independent fire northeast! 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 
Left base, double quick. Alrighty, there you are. Good job by these units out here, 9th Corps and NYV. Looks like A and B in there as well. That's what you need to do to try to cap, and uh, you don't even really need to kill anybody right now. You just need to cap. The more you kill, actually, the more that you don't get back. So, but you do want to maintain the point. So it's a bit of a. Well, he tried to warn him. That's our Parker. He tried to warn poor Dragon, but he didn't have his monsters. When Dragon doesn't have his monster, you see what happens. Oh God! Oh God! He's got earbuds in. Oh God! Oh Juicy B from the rear! Oh! Oh! This is gonna be a tragedy! That is what we call a crossfire. Oh, Jesus. Mary and Joseph. Juicy fucking targets. Hey, Juicy, he just targeted those guys. That's what Juicy targeted. Uh, looks like uh, CQB has not been taken off of this site here, which is insane to me that that position's not been recovered yet. Um, we'll see if the Union can kind of get it together here and recap this point. They will get a good amount of tickets back here if they can manage it. Looks like LFL's moving up now to try to help along with uh, the home guard, Mr. 2 USC. Oh, we got first US sharpshooters. I don't think I called them out either with Mr. Carlson. I think I missed him on the roll call. I don't know why they didn't clear out the CQB before moving to this position. It didn't make any sense to me, but, um... You're gonna have to retake point here, and the longer they take, the worse it's gonna be. CSA just really needs to hold. They're in a very advanced position here. I think they capped a little bit early, but uh, it might not matter. You're almost ridiculous, that fire rush. About even, only an eight-man difference. I mean, some of that, there's a couple observers on this Union team. So that's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit more with me. Wait for it. Down by line at the edge of that crossing. CSA is now at gauge. Again, shooting it out doesn't do anything for you. You need to retake the point. Again, you're just losing tickets to regain right now. So unless this is part of a plan to retake the point, it is actually counterproductive. Union has not been able to recap point here. It's becoming an increasing problem. Here's 14th Jersey trying to move forward a little bit with a flank guard. Um, yeah, this is a big problem. Again, CSA just needs to hold what they got right now. Oh, two core got a little bit beat up there. Second ready, 
Oh, an SP ball over there. Or I should say UEC combined. So it's kind of a combined team over there. Confirm your shots, boys. Run, you run. New line to the oblique Nine left, Captain. On the hill, boys. On the hill. On the hill, boys. Pour it into him. Looks like who is a CQB trying another flank here. Fire at him on the hay. Not a bad idea. Trying to retake that hay. Not a bad idea at all. Again, the Union is still. You can't win this shootout, man. All you're doing is hurting yourself. into line, my left shoulder, hold. Aiming into the south. Fall back a little bit, we'll do the same thing again, okay? Prepare to into line on the left. west south west So again, the Union is really not doing very good at the moment, in my opinion. They are not following a coherent strategy. They are just kind of sitting back and shooting and not retaking this point. Unless you're going to try to shoot them down to last stand in nine minutes, which is insane. You're not going to. You need, the more you're killing right now, the less you're going to get back when you retake. And you're still going to be at 32 minutes. So it, it's... Tennessee. Nice volley there from oh TV. Hit poor twentieth. Flag down, Georgia. Jack. So we will see if the Union can figure something out. Right now, this is not good. This is not looking good. All right, bayonets are now live. Maybe that's what they were waiting for. Maybe they were waiting for the bayonets to be live. If that's the case, maybe. But their bayonets are live too. So it's like, okay, is it really that much of an advantage? I'd argue no, not it's not it's not worth this much time. Guys that are just camping back here on this fucking we're just gonna hit these guys back here on this fence line. Drag straight ahead, boys. Y'all can see him. Dick high, dick high, take aim. At the fence line. Dick high, dick high. Take aim. Tennessee. People, those dudes in their spawn Comes HL trying to disrupt the Union back here. Nice little flank attack. No, sir, you will not shoot that pistol. Thank you for the flag. HL is knocked back, but TV charged it as well. Trying to help. They on the other fence line, but. Dodge into him! Stab him out, stab him out, stab him out. Stab him out, stab him out. Stab him out. I'll get another counter charge this time by A and B. Come on, I'm gonna bunk you. Bonk! I hear Dragon. Come on, Union! Come on, Union! Hold, hold, be good, be good. So they've held that side, but again, it's a distraction. 
You're just wasting time to not retake point and the casualties you're not going to get back. Because you've killed them on the other side, so you get less back. You, you only get back what the enemy's at. Now, and the CSA's kind of moved back quite a bit here. You should be able to push We're gonna make these guys off a point here. I don't, I don't know why you're not moving up on it. Like, you've got JB here. Well, JB was there. They're gone now. You just push up and push them off from this angle here. you got two, you know, decent-sized units. you got to deal with 11th MS and the UEC, but still, it's your best, this is your best chance that you've had. What? Yep. Make sure you're dressing right. All right. Same target. Go for the same target. Aim. 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 Keep in mind, aim slightly higher. Fire. Right, we'll see. This, I think, is a good angle of attack here from GameBot no and Mr. Prussian. I'd rather go swimming. It's gonna work. This is the way it's gonna go. You can see they've got a great approach. Good concealment, hitting them in the side here. Great attack here from the A and V. Nice side attack. But these guys need to move up and help them. This is the best chance you're ever gonna get. Are they moving up? Taking too long, they gotta move. Hamas is moving. Now ah, they're moving. We'll see if they took too long. I think they might have had just enough time to do it. Again, there's no reason to charge forward right now. Well, I mean, maybe you want to defeat them in detail. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Hey, we can defeat these guys in detail and then kill the rest as they come up. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Yeah, see, I think he lost too much organization doing those charges. We're not able to receive these counterattacks, and that's going to be the end of it. I mean, Cooks isn't an easy map at all, but uh, you're not playing it all that well. It was a good attack by AMV, but I mean, the rest of the Union took way too long to punch in. You know, oh, we got to get our loads. I'll just move up, help, and then get your load and finish it. It's that charging all the way in. Oh, 
Right, right, right. right. Oui, 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 non, mais oui, pour lui, oui. Bah, pas Et qu'est-ce qui. Bonjour, ça va, c'est là. Allez, pareil. Elle est passée la fin, c'est le fin. Ah, bon, allez, c'est la clôture. Allez, au double quick, c'est parti, messieurs. Allez, formation derrière toi, messieurs. Where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? In front! In the pen! In the pen! Shoot that flag there, shoot that flag there. They're chasing us, they're chasing us, Go back to Georgia. For Queen and Country. Watch right, watch right. Oh, we Oh, get him, boys. Get him, boys. Stab him out. Yarg, me, Archie. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We got to stay. Ah! And it ends. Not a close round at all. I'm going to keep talking about it until you guys learn how the mechanic works. It, it, I hate to say it, but it, you can't just let them shoot it out on... You know, they cap at, at, at battle ready. I mean, unless you're going to go for getting them down to last stand, which is tough to do. I mean, it's doable, but it's tough. Unless you're going to do with that, you got to recap as quick as possible. And you can see that you weren't going to get there pretty early on. So, all the shootout you're doing is just wasting time and You also got to go in to support the attacks. You can't, oh, I got to get my reload. I got to get set. Oh, my guys aren't ready. All right. Yeah. Officer, you should be looking and seeing what your other officers are doing. Officers, look out. NCOs, look in. Talk more about that later. But anyway, um, good fight. Fun to watch. We got one more to go. It's a Nico Hill.